Hi, I'm Andre from HP Software R&D and in this video we will talk about Content Upgrade Utility, the tool that is used to upgrade content from 09 format to 010 format. Now the utility itself finishes with an informative report and actually today we will focus around fixing incompatible multi-instance flows that are highlighted in such a report. Running the utility is easy so I will skip that part and rather go to the Content Upgrade Output folder. As you can see, I have here several folders and files and the best thing to do is to open the Content Upgrade Report HTML file. Most likely there will be a section called Require Action. As you can see I have one here and as you expand it by pressing the Show Hide you will get to see the list of all the problems that appeared during the upgrade process. If you have a section called Multi Instance Flows like we do, you can expand it and get the list of all the affected flows. So what next? The best thing to do would be to return to the Content Upgrade Utility Output folder and identify the content folders. Normally you should have two folders, one with the invalid suffix. We do recommend copying these folders into O10 Studio workspace. By default the projects are saved under .oo workspace of the logged in user. As you can see I have one here, so I will actually proceed into copying these files into it. Great, now I will go to the O10 Studio and actually import my projects there. Great, the projects have been imported successfully and now we can actually proceed to the investigation. We will return to the Content Agri Utility and copy one of the affected flows in order to search it in O10 Studio. As we open it in the Auto and Studio, we do realize that this flow is problematic. As you can see, there are steps which are highlighted by a warning message. But let's first align the components in order to get a better picture of the problem that appeared. As you can see for this particular example, the problem is that there is a success response which has not been linked to the multi-instance exit. So, if now we link this success to the exit, the multi-instance and the entire flow should be fixed. Of course you might wonder how come you ended up in this situation. To better understand we should open the flow in 09. So the flow in 09 looks something like this. As you can see the update server is a multi-instance step and the failure message does not follow the path of the group done the same way as the success does. As you can see, the success returns to the multi-instance step, while the failure goes directly to the error failure. The reason is that O9 allows an inconsistent design when working with multiple instances, and here it is simply not well defined if the flow should stop at the first error or continue. O10 enforced a well-defined flow design. Remember that it is also possible to fix the errors in O9 and then re-export and upgrade the content. For our particular example, it means simply wiring the success transition that goes here into the failure back to the multi-instance step. For more information about the upgrade, visit our upgrade page on the community where you can find more videos and guides making your upgrade simple and easy.